Today's devotional is titled Green Pastures, and I love this because it takes us back to Psalm 23. When we read Psalm 23, it's a beautiful expression of Firstly, God's love and his grace and his goodness towards his children. And actually, let's go there. It starts by saying, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The first verse should speak to us as loud as possible. It says, the Lord is my shepherd. And it brings me to the question of, who is leading me? And I wanna bring this to the table and also ask you, who is leading you? Because in order to experience everything that Psalm 23 has spoken about, we have to be governed by the leadership of Jesus Christ and by the submission and yielding to the Holy Spirit. In this time and generation, it's so easy to be swayed away with culture, trends, society, and even people in some situations, where we look at how people live their lives, we look at what social media portrays, and it's more of a conversation that focuses more on you need to be independent you need to do this you need to do that if you're not doing this and if you're not doing that you're living a boring life society will direct you to being the leader of your own life but jesus will teach you the joy that exists in submitting to him the freedom that exists in yielding to his purposes and his plans when we choose to take hold of our lives and decide to do what we want to do instead of allowing the Lord to lead us and to guide our steps. We focus more on the external things instead of focusing on what the Lord wants to do within us. Because as he works within us, it begins to show outwardly. And as that happens, your life begins to bloom. Society has taught us to look at the grass around us instead of focusing on our own grass and allowing the Lord to be our gardener, allowing the Lord to be the one who's removing what's not necessary in our lives, pruning us, cleansing us. And when he does those things, he begins to prune us and mold us and shape us to look like him. The grass on our side will become not just greener, but more fruitful, more productive, more joyful, because that's the life we have in Christ. In order for the Lord to lead you to green pastures and the still waters, you have to submit to his leadership. You have to submit to his purpose. Allow him to be in control. Growth is painful sometimes, but in those moments, remind yourself, not my will, Lord, but your will be done. And watch the Lord work marvelously just through your act of submission to him. Stay encouraged and let's keep running to a place called grace.